Hey y'all, Joe here, Southern Coastal Cooking, coming at you tonight. Um, I want to talk to you about cameras a little bit. Uh, I'm fixing to get a new camera for my channel. I've had the same camera, I think it was a, a Canon Vixen RF 42 or something like that for about five years now. So I figure it's about time to change cameras, do a little upgrading and stuff like that. Uh, so I did a lot of research and asked some buddies that had YouTube channels and stuff like that. And I found, they said they're really having good luck with the Canon uh, HF or RF, whatever it is, but the G40 camcorder. And the, the G40 is actually being discontinued. Um, I think it was a 2017 model or something like that, but it's a great little camcorder. I haven't used it yet. I'm just going off advice that I've gotten. So uh, that's what I'm going to swap my camera out for, but... I had already ordered one. I was hoping to do some videos this past weekend with it, but it had a little snafu or something that happened. Um, I got online, especially looking for a discontinued camera, and figured I'd find one pretty cheap, you know, compared to what they normally cost. But unfortunately, uh, well, unfortunately for me, they're in huge demand. Uh, apparently, all the websites Best Buy and places like that were all sold out of them. And then you had, um, when you couldn't find them locally, um, you had places... Uh, that had them on eBay, but they were asking like, you know, thirteen, fourteen hundred dollars for them. Where you could see the Canon website was selling for about eleven hundred bucks, and you know, the place on eBay they were throwing in a bunch of little cheap trinkets with it, thinking that made it worth, you know, just whatever. I didn't want to try to take that chance. I was trying to find a, a store where I could just order one. So uh, somebody told me about you know there's some of these places up in New York, these camera shops, to where you can order cameras, and they have a bunch of them and get good prices. So I kind of looked around and I found one, I'm not going to say their name, I'm just, you know, I'll put it this way, there's a four and a two in their name, okay, you can take it for what it's worth, but anyway, um, or the camera from there, it said brand new, $9.99, a great price, because I think this camera's at like $1,300 when it's new or something like that, so, uh, or the camera up, uh, didn't hear anything for a day or two after I ordered it, and, um, Luckily, um, let me give you this advice. Let me stop here. Anything you order online, if you possibly can, uh, especially if it's from somebody not like you know a big box that you've heard of a bunch, try to use PayPal because if you do, they'll help to back in case something happens. I've had several times where I've gotten something in that I've ordered and it's damaged or it just wasn't right or I wanted to return it and, and the, the seller didn't want to return it. I tell you what, PayPal can get your money back. I'm telling you what. Uh, not that PayPal is the greatest, trust me, I've had my run-ins with PayPal as a seller and stuff like that back in the day, and, and there's some headache, but from my experience, if you can use something like that, even if it's your credit card or company or something, you just don't, I wouldn't send these people just straight up cash out of your checking account, because if you get in a situation like myself, where I'm in right now, you're going to be at all that cash right up front. Um, but uh, let me tell you what happened. So, or the camera, they call me here in a couple days, a few days, and they're like, hey, uh, Joe, look, uh, I want to just let you know, I want to be honest with you, the guy says, um, just so, j because you, cause you would never notice, he said, but this camera was actually a shelf model. It was one we had behind the glass in a case, you know, in a camera store, uh, no big deal, you know, we had two of them left, and you got one, the school got one, and... Well, so now he said, but if you you know, received it, I hadn't told you, you never know about it. So, again, I guess assuming in my head, I'm thinking, well, it's going to come. They just put it back in the box, everything about it like it was, and you know, uh, none the wiser. You know, it'll come. I finally get a pretty good deal, save a few hundred bucks, and I wasn't too worried about it. Well, you know, about a week goes by or something like that. The camera, the camera finally comes in the mail. Okay, I'll show you how it comes here. It came in a box like this. Okay, and inside that box, kind of some protection and stuff, was a piece of broken styrofoam. Okay. Oh, by the way, the camera was supposed, I believe, I'm not going to say, I think it was supposed to come with a free cleaning kit, but that's neither here nor there. Don't worry about that. Um, wasn't supposed to come with the case, but I, uh, you know, that piece was in the box, and there's also this little piece here. It's kind of strange, okay? But other than that, just an empty box. With, with the camera pouch in it, camera little bag, okay? So we get down the camera bag, we open it up. So just how this was. <coughs> and there's 
looks like a camera in there inside some plastic wrapping, okay? Like they've kind of wrapped it up. No camera box. No, you know, let me show you. Here's the camera itself. You know, it's wrapped up in some sort of plastic wrap like that, okay? Uh, I'm not even take it out of here because I don't want to damage the packaging, okay? Where I can't send it back. But you notice there's no battery inserted back there, but uh, that's the camera. All right, in one little plastic sheaf here. And then you have a, some sort of, a, you know, your wall charger or something like that and another plastic sheath. I didn't even look at this to see, to brand it. Let me look here. I'm, I'm curious now. I want to open this up and mess up too much stuff, but I want to see. I, I don't want uh, I don't want to compromise the packaging just in case but it, here's where here's where I call it on okay you've got another little cord here but you've got a battery charger like this okay now look at this battery charger and it says castar okay on the back of it that's not Canon and I've had a lot of Canon cameras and they never come with a castar charger castar is something you order off of eBay for like 20 bucks you know to have a spare charger to keep the deer camp or something like that and it is what it is. It'll work. I'm not going to say anything bad about it, but you get what you pay for, okay? But then you have a Castar battery here. It says for Canon BP828, which the Canon battery would have been a BP828. This is a $100 battery you ordered from Canon. So I've got a aftermarket charger, an aftermarket battery, a camera with no box and no instructions whatsoever. You know, funny little case here which is fine and, and you know I've paid you know close to retail for it um, I'm not happy no not at all um, first thing I do is send an email real quick hey I want a refund this is unacceptable got some pictures of it and everything um, and um, no response no response call back uh, call them up yesterday I think the camera came in Friday or Saturday and called yesterday and that's on a Monday um, they said uh, the person to shop told me, well, the people who work in the mail office is a religious holiday or something, so they're off. So that's fine. Uh, you know, whatever. Uh, I'll call back the next day. So I called back this morning and leave a message for the guy that's in the mailing office never calls me back. I finally call back again, and they're telling me, uh, yeah, well, I told you it was it was a floor model or something like that. So yeah, but man, what about the battery? I said, you know, there's no not original battery oh you won't find another one you're just not gonna find it. i said look bro i just want my money back just send me a shipping label let me uh send this well i'll send that to you well, i still hadn't heard anything you know it's about eight hours later but that's you know what in the good thing i contacted paypal all that sort of stuff they said if you hadn't heard anything in five days we'll go to work for you don't worry about it so i've had this happen before with other you know when you deal with some of these kind of uh, you know, not really sure vendors and stuff like that. When you're trying to get something, trying to get a little deal, sometimes it's going to happen to you. But you want to make sure that you have a backer or somebody like your credit card company or PayPal or something like that that's going to back you so you're not out a thousand bucks for it. could take weeks, you know, it could take months, you know, to get your money back. So, anyway, um, what I did do, I went ahead and went to BH Photo, which is a reputable site. Um, very, very good. I've never had anything bad come from them. I ordered the camera. You now, I did have to pay a little more. I wasn't happy. I tried to, to bargain with them, but I understand. I mean, they're the only only dude in town with the camera, and uh, I know it'll be right coming from them. I mean, it's going to be in the true packaging, and everything else is going to be brand new. So I went ahead and ordered it from them. Hopefully, when it gets here, we can start seeing some really high-quality videos. Um, but I just want to tune y'all in. Y'all, please share in the description box if you ever had an experience like this, you know, with the with one of these, you know, maybe shady online places. Or I tell you what, it doesn't even have to be an online place. I've, I've been burned on the camera game before. My wife and I were in New Orleans one time. Walked to one of these little camera stores on the side of the road. Uh, or down the, in the strip there on the side of the road. And, um... Uh, guy in there shows his camera oh look at this is taking pictures of you know jewelry and everything it's a great camera it's a great camera kind of otis i didn't think back then i think probably even before the iphone you know where you could look and google and see exactly what something was and what it was supposed to cost um 
he told us to buy the camera for like 300 bucks or something. I got back to the hotel, got on the hotel, little internet there, looked it up, and come to find out that camera had been discontinued like four or five years ago. It was like a $200 camera at best when it was new. Uh, it was obviously a refurb. You know, we tried to take it back. He said, no, 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 no returns, only exchanges. So, I mean, we just kept it, lesson learned. When you do the focus after a little while, you hear, I mean, just, it was horrible. So, again, sometimes when you're trying to save a penny or something like that, you, you really get burnt. But anyway, thank y'all so much. Uh, y'all, please uh, like my video, sub my channel. Um, God bless y'all. And don't forget to leave some comments in the description box. Let's talk about this. You have been burned in sort of situation. Thanks again.